Today we have something slightly different regarding oil filter reviews. This is a Boss Pure Later oil filter that has been used for 16,000 miles. These are rated up to 15,000 miles, so it's a little over its limit. It was something like 15,959, something like that. But that being said, we're going to open it up, spread everything out, and I also have another Boss Pure Later filter that we opened up in the past, a brand new one. So I thought it would be pretty cool just to compare the components from a brand new one and one that has been used for 16,000 miles and see what we have going on. Now what I've done is just cleaned up the filter the best that I can. Obviously opening up the filter makes quite a mess, but let's first talk about the gasket. Now if you're curious on the type of motor oil that was used here, this was used with uh, it was Pennzoil Foley Synthetic Platinum Motor Oil. Now obviously you would not run this type of filter with conventional or even a blend. You're really wasting your money. You don't have to get a filter like this. This is really made for synthetic motor oil. And taking a look at the gasket, still in wonderful shape. On your lower costing oil filters, they use most likely a rubber or a rubber compound, a derivative of rubber. Then typically in your higher end filters, they'll use silicone. I'll talk more about silicone in a moment. This is a different material altogether. I believe it's something like uh, ethylene, acrylic, or something along those lines. Apparently, it's, it's a step above silicone. And it just essentially can withstand temperatures, high temperatures, incredibly well. And as, and as you can see, it still looks to be in wonderful shape. Obviously, it hasn't solidified to the engine block after 16,000 miles. And again, this, these little things that I'll go over is why you pay more for these type of filters. Now this is your anti-drain back valve. Here's the original, or what it looks like before you uh, use it. And what this valve does is when you shut off your engine, instead of having the oil come out of the oil filter, this retains the oil inside the filter. Now the reason why that's very important is because if you turn off your engine and the oil comes out of the filter, the next time you start your engine, then the engine oil has to circulate all over again, the pressure has to get up there, and you can starve the engine of motor oil. So this essentially keeps the oil inside the filter and retains the pressure. Now on your lower costing oil filters you'll find something like this which is rubber. Now the advantage with silicone is the temperature range. I believe typically this can last down to minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit and up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Rubber cannot withstand those type of temperatures. So that's one reason, another reason, why you're paying a little bit more money for these aftermarket high-end oil filters. And as you can see, this still looks to be in wonderful shape. Very, very good. And then taking a look at the media itself, this is what it looks like before it's used. This is a synthetic media. On your lower costing filters, for example here on this Toyota, this is polyester, cellulose, fiberglass, a blend. Uh, this is rated at 5,000 miles conventional motor oil up to 10,000 with uh, synthetic. On fully synthetic medias, you can go a lot longer. Some M soils can go up to 25,000 miles. So this is what I was mentioning earlier. If you're running conventional motor oil, this is the wrong filter for you. It really is. You're not getting what you paid for out of the filter. You're, you're, you're discarding this filter a lot quicker than what it's last for. So this is really made for your fully synthetic motor oil. Again, this was used with Pennzoil Platinum uh, motor oil, which is terrific. Uh, I've been using them for, for quite a some time. I've had no issues. As you can see, the oil still looks to be in good shape after 16,000 miles. Very, very good. Metal end caps, metal center tube. On your higher end filters, you find metal end caps. On some cheaper filters, such as Frame Extra Guard, even Subaru, they use a cardboardish type of end cap. And uh, this is where metal just surpasses because it just lasts so much longer. So uh, there's a lot of a lot of small benefits that add up. You know, the better gasket, the better material on the anti drain back valve, a synthetic media, metal end caps. Look at them, they look to be in terrific shape. Here, this is what it is brand new. I mean, it's, uh, I tell you, it looks to be in very, very good shape. Now, my guess is even though they state it's up to 15,000 miles, that's a safety net for them. A lot of companies, not even oil filters, for many products, though, they have a safety net. So, as you can see, after 16,000 miles, this still looks to be in wonderful shape, but really their safety net is don't go over 15,000 miles or one year, one of the, you know, whatever you, hit, whatever you hit first. Then lastly, on top here, this is a bypass spring. 
What happens is, let's say if we opened up this filter and you see that the media is scrunched in, almost like it's being uh, sucked in. What happens is if it's clogged and now the oil cannot filter, or I should say the media cannot filter, this little spring, there's a valve in here. Let me grab another one so you can see this. There's a valve in here. Every oil filter that I've come across have them. But this little guy would open up. So it's inside the filter here. And once this opens up, unfiltered oil can at least get back in the engine. It's a safety feature. So if for some reason, if this vehicle was used for towing, dusty condition, drag racing, long idling, and after, let's say, two years, they did not change the filter, these, this, this would certainly start to degrade. Event, nothing can last forever in terms of that with the hot engine temperatures and everything else. And if this started to clog up, this little guy would open up. And then at least you're getting unfiltered oil back into the engine. And the can is incredibly, incredibly strong. This is probably the, the strongest can I've come across. K&N also has a very strong can, but this is incredibly strong. The reason why that's important is not only is the burst pressure really high, but think about the puncture rate. If you go off-roading, you're worried uh, about getting punctured oil filters. This is so strong. Just to show you something else. Here's a, here's a factory OEM Subaru filter, and it, it just, it, this is Toyota, so this is pretty average, and then you come over to this, it's just so strong, if I had a machine that could test burst pressure, I would do it, but it's just, so all these things just add up in the long run to a very incredibly well made filter. So I hope this gives you a pretty good idea, if you're looking to invest in this filter, run it on your vehicle. After 16,000 miles, this looks to be in wonderful shape. I will say uh, I'm a big fan of shopping at your local privately owned uh, auto parts store. But once in a while for oil deals, advanced auto parts, I know for sure they'll have a deal with uh, Pure Later Boss and a synthetic oil. It could be Mobile One, it could be Pennzoil Synthetic. And combined, it's something like 30 bucks, $31. So it, it's, a, it's a deal that you have to grab. And that's what I tend to do. If I ever see these on sale, I tend to grab it. Even if I don't need an oil change at that time, at least I have it on the shelf when I need it. So, any questions, comments, please leave it in the uh, description box below. I try to get back to everyone's comment if I can. And uh, thank you for watching.